Hello and welcome to Fluke Fridays. This is episode number 28 and what we're going to go through today is a couple multimeters. We're going to talk about the 87.5, the 87.5 Max, and the 28.2 and what makes them different and why somebody might choose one versus another. So we're going to start with data sheets today and then we're going to jump into the tools and kind of like show you right in front of your right in front of um, the camera uh, what the tools look like in my hands. So what we see here is this is the 87.5 Max data sheet. I got this idea for the video because I had somebody ask me, hey, what's the difference between an 87.5 Max and a 28-2? And the truth is, at the end of the day, they're the exact same meter. Uh, it was a, from Fluke's perspective, it was a marketing ploy to make sure that there was more exposure on the 28.2. The 28.2 is a great rugged meter, waterproof, dustproof, top of the line meter that has all the features and functionality of the original 87.5, but it, that 28.2 name, the model number did not have as much notoriety or uh, popularity in the market. So Fluke Marketing said, hey, let's take a 28.2 and all of its features and put an 87.5 Max on it. So that's the main difference. But if you do look at the data sheet, I think they're made similarly. But if you look at the data sheet, one thing you will see is the drop test on the 27.2 and the 28.2 have a 10 foot or three meter drop test, whereas the 87.5 Max does have a drop test of four meters or 13 feet. So that is one difference that you can find in the data sheets but the meters themselves look, feel the exact same regardless of which one you have. They are both waterproof, dustproof. They are the hummers of multimeters. Um, they are made for everything. If you're rugged with your tools, this might be the right meter for you. Now, one question you might ask is, what's the difference between the 27.2 and the 28.2? Difference here is the 27.2 is average responding. The reason Fluke still makes this is because uh, the military has a lot of standards built around average responding meters, and they expect to see certain readings at di for different applications, so they want to stick with an average responding meter, so Fluke continues to make an average responding meter. For anyone else outside of the military or you just absolutely uh, need an average responding meter, the 28.2 or the 87.5 Max is going to be your better option. You will notice if you look at uh, like an 87.5, how the configuration of the ports is a little different than the newer ones. And where these are kind of in a box format, 87.5 Max is a straight line. They all do um, exact same features um, other than the 87.5 is not quite as rugged as the 87.5 Max or the 28.2. So we'll see that in more detail whenever I have the two meters in my hand in front of you and you'll be able to kind of see how one is significantly bigger than, or that the 28.2 and the 87.5 Max are significantly bigger portfolio-wise or size-wise than the 87.5. So, okay, let's jump over there and we'll show you what the meters look like. Okay, so now we are in front of the different meters. As you can see, let me rearrange these. As you can see, we've got an 87.5 here. Kind of look at how that looks in my hand. Okay, see the configuration. We've got an 87.5 Max, and this one is a little bit thicker. You can see the configuration of the ports, or the terminals down here, and glow-in-the-dark buttons. And then you see this right here, the, 80, the 28.2. Again, the exact same size and configuration, except the data sheet says that this one can handle a higher drop, but I think that's just, they can both handle the same drop in my opinion. So um, let's look at these side by side. If we try to line them up, you can see the 28.2 and the 87.5 are a little taller than the 87. There's that. As far as size-wise, they're a little bit bigger. From the width, they seem basically the exact same. 
And then the depth, you can see one is bigger than the other. So the 87.5 and the 28.2 are similar, um, but the 87 is a little smaller, a little more thin. Here's the side by side of the 87 and the 28.2. So, okay, I hope that helps. Um, now you should hopefully know the difference between the 87.5, the 87.5 Max, and the 28.2. Thanks, and uh, leave comments below if you have any other questions or you want any other comparison videos. Happy to do those for you guys. Thanks, and take care.